guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video and today I'm going to a frag swap. It's a beautiful day out so I thought I'd invite my friend to come along and you'll finally get to meet Wayne. Yes, the mythical creature named Wayne. You've never seen him before but you're going to see him today. So I'll go over what I'm going to do to get ready for this frag swap, what I'm bringing and giving you guys a little bit of eye candy when we're at the frag show. I would suggest the number one thing to bring is a cooler. Now. My wife calls me a hoarder because this is my old uh, lunchbox for work and I kept it. But you know what? It still insulates. It's just a little janky in the back, broken. But I'm going to be using this to uh, hold all my coral that I'm going to buy. The next thing I'd recommend doing when you're going to a frag shop, frag show, whatever you're doing, bring cash. Now, people like to burn their credit cards and I'm sure that, yeah, my wife just yelled, what? Burning credit cards? No, I'm not going to burn the credit card, honey, I promise. No, I just I did not say $400. My wife just set my limit at $400, guys. You heard it. You heard it here that I can spend up to $400. Let me let me go and grab another 100 and throw it up here. That's what she said. Ha! So, I would recommend bringing cash and not credit card. I mean, bring your credit card because it's in your wallet. But I'd recommend bringing cash so you know how much you're spending. You can be like, hey, I'm tapped out right now. That way your wife doesn't get angry at you and tells you to burn your credit card. One of the last things I'd say to bring to a frag swap, bring a friend. It's always good to have a friend going around. Um, he might spot something that you don't know. He might make some connections. You might be buying some stuff. But my friend Wayne, he's kind of a big spender, so I don't know if he's the best influence for me right now, but he's still coming with me because I miss that guy. All right, guys, I'm out here with my friend Wayne. Hello. I promised him for years, and finally he's here. And we're here at the frag swap trying to get some frags, so I'll take a video see everything that's going on and maybe Wayne will give you some commentary. At some of the corals and the vendors. It's kind of a small intimate place. A couple people couldn't make it today so we only have a handful of coral vendors here. Mostly it's just local people. Are you just putting this in? I'm really thinking that bicolor logo is going to come home with me. Looking at this guy's tank here. What are you selling? My friend Wayne's probably gonna grab this piece right there and I'm gonna be holding it for him. We don't know what it is. Looks like a granulosa, I don't have a clue. Someone comment below and let me know. Everything else is good. So it's just like, I'm like, uh, everybody's healthy. Like, Got the dragon soul in the back. You're, you're tang heavy like me. Everyone's taking looks at all these corals. The spikes corals. <laughs> oh, look at that. Strawberry shortcake, that's gotta be it, man. Yeah. That's nice. Court, I don't know, it's in the over 50 bucks section. So it's probably gonna be ass. Hey, language on my on my video. <laughs> I'll bleep you out. I don't wanna get demonetized. Even though, you know, I'm only making like, I think I've only made like 30 bucks off of every video that I've ever done. <laughs> so so all, every video that I've ever done can buy me that candy cane. How much is the strawberry shortcake? Uh, it's actually not a strawberry that? shortcake. Really? What is it? Oh, those are sold. Oh. Shades of Fall. Shades of Fall? I've got another one right here. A small one there. That guy right, right in there. So I think I'm going to get this Shades of Fall coral right there. Oh, that doesn't look as good when it's up top is better. About the best view I got. You never know what you're gonna find at a frag swap. Wayne's gonna come home with a, a new dog. <laughs> oh my god, that dog. I got two with one's a diabetic that cost me about four hundred dollars a month. Alright, so this is from Seven Seas Aquatics in uh, Nashville. They brought some stuff down. Is that cool? Okay, perfect. That is beautiful. All right, what, is that a, uh, a Lobo or is that a <laughs> Whatever it is, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm getting a guess it's like 200-ish, 300, yeah. It's beautiful though. Man, look at that Ghani. Yep. Some of this stuff is just insane. Yeah, so that, they're still like, what's going on? 
He's from Seven Seas Aquatics. He's local in the Nashville area, like northern Nashville. Or... Yeah, Hendersonville. Perfect. Yes, sir. Thank you. And you have some killer corals in here. Even though I don't have the lens on, but I just filmed it. It's insane. Oh, yeah. Taking on those glasses. Is that a meat coral in the back right there? Yes, sir. That, that thing's giant. Oh, yeah, when, it, when it's happy, it... I mean, that's gotta be like eight inches across when it's not happy. So it's gonna be, what, about 10 inch, 12 inch? Yeah, 10 to 12 inches, Lewis Reef. And I'm thinking about pulling the trigger on this Scully and this Lobo right here. That one, that little guy. I'm gonna do two of them. Oh man, it's insane. There's, there's too many good corals. It's like, I don't even know what to buy. You guys heard it first that my wife said 400, but you know, I think I'll, I'll bring some money home. All right, so I was talking to Lewis here from uh, Lewis Reefs and he's gonna be giving me a pretty sweet deal on this little Lobo right there and the Scully. So I'm definitely gonna be taking those home. So yeah, if you wanna bag them up right now, I'm, I'm good to go on those. Man, some of these corals are just so nice. that little guy we came away with a huge haul we bought so many corals that they gave us a box and didn't need to use my little cooler all right guys so the corals are in the tank and they are um, in quarantine right now so this is my little frag quarantine tank and these are all the corals that I kind of got and these are all Wayne's corals in the corner Wayne wants me to hold them for him just a little bit because he's got some uh, stuff he needs to work out with his tank so I get to hold on to his corals, which, you know, I hate doing because I don't want to kill them. Pretty much, I don't mind doing it. I just don't want to be responsible if anything dies. So, Wayne and I both got these magicians. Oh, well, well, that reacted really quick. And these are also magicians, but I'm not really quite sure. Um, you know, they're supposed to be the same. I mean, they're not the same strain because they came from two different vendors, but they're both magicians, just a little bit different variants. Then you got, this is supposed to be a rainbow A-can from what one of the vendors said. This is just a $10 frag and we don't have a clue what that is. Neither does the guy. It looks like some granulosa, maybe. Comment below if you know what it is. And then this is supposed to be a Fruit Loops uh, Monopora, I think. And this one here is supposed to be a Jason Fox, um, uh, what was it called? Jason Fox Micro Musa, some sort of, I don't know. Um, it lost a ton of color um in the drive over or on the drive over here it's supposed to have some awesome uh like greens and yellows and some reds and it's just kind of really pale right now so those are all of wayne's corals that he got i ended up getting this scully and lobo from lewis reef so he sold them as a package deal and scully looks pretty dang good I'll be honest, I think it's gonna even uh, perk up a little bit more once I get into the main display. I'll probably keep them in here for um, a month or so, maybe a little bit less, depending on how it goes. Lobo's looking pretty good. Moving on over this way. This is also Magicians that I got from a local vendor, I believe his name is Chris Ward. And then those that was there, if I can get the light to not shine on them. Those are Ross's I also got from Chris Ward. Magicians, those are for my friend, uh, Mike, he wanted me to buy them, and then these are supposed to be some orange, no name, yellow on the inside, orange on the outside. We don't know what they are, but they're pretty closed up. They're not too happy right now. Oh, and then the last one, I got this from Spikes Coral. This one is supposed to be a, I keep screwing the name up, Nightfall Shade, Shadow Nightfall, Fall Shade. Oh my gosh, I'm super dyslexic. I will put it in the comments right here. Shadefall, Nightfall, Nightfall. That, we'll go with that. I'm so bad with names, guys. I just buy some of like pretty. And I think that one's gonna look beautiful, especially when the blues come on. You'll see all these colors pop. But yeah, so these are some of my other corals that I just kind of fragged it from the tank. You see them in here. So that is my experience at the Middle, T Middle Tennessee Frag Spot. It was pretty good. And, you know, vendors weren't as uh, numerous as years past, but still high quality corals at low prices. Not high quantity but high quality at decent prices so uh, will i be back for more corals oh you bet it um 
I just need to meet some more local vendors, you know, get some local things, always support uh, the local reef scene. And if you guys like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button because I'm always looking to give you guys more content, give you guys tips and tricks. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.